We're sponsored by Med Center Health. Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here. Happy Monday. Hopefully you're well rested after a busy weekend we had uh, over the past couple of days. We will continue to see that warm trend for us as we continue through the next couple of days. So cold through the mornings, then very, very nice and very mild through the afternoons. That seems to be the trend here. Um, we are going to track stronger winds into the later parts of our afternoon and evening. So it is going to be another breezy day, at least at times before widespread rain arrives just in time for Valentine's Day. Yes, yeah, so go ahead and plan to bring that rain gear. We're still tracking some showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. Right now, though, waking up to clear skies for most of us overall, a really nice start to the day, but we are a bit on the cooler side. We are seeing those 20s and 30s to start off our morning. Around 32 degrees is what we're seeing here in Bowling Green to our north. We're at 23 in E-Town, 27 in parts of Tompkinsville. And like I said, it is going to be breezy at times. Not so much for the morning commute, but you can see that very gradual increase in those wind speeds as we head into the afternoon. I think as we head closer to the afternoon, afternoon, especially late afternoon, we will see a lot of those stronger winds gusting between 20 to 35 miles per hour. Uh, so maybe those very, very lightweight items that are outside on the patio uh, will need to be brought inside just for the evening. And then we will see those very mild conditions later today. Lower 50s by 10 a.m. by lunchtime. We're going to flirt with those lower 60s as well. We're tracking a high around 65 degrees for most of our viewing area with, with lots of sunshine in store for us as well, so it's going to be absolutely beautiful out there. Perfect for going on that walk today, maybe at the park, uh, taking the kids to the playground or even enjoying some lunch outside. It's going to be just nice enough outside, a bit breezy though. So if you do happen to work outside on the patio or if you have to happen to eat outside, you'll want to secure those items, especially those lightweight items before we start to see those clouds increasing later this evening and night. This is all ahead of a frontal boundary that's going to bring us some rain just in time for Valentine's Day. Check this out. We do look dry for the first half of the day. Then as we inch closer to that evening commute, uh, we will start to see those showers and thunderstorms rolling in. This is five o'clock. Showers continue into our dinner time as well. So this is right around the time when probably a lot of folks are uh, taking their loved ones to dinner, taking them to a movie. Uh, go ahead and plan to bring that rain gear. Could be maybe a good night to stay in and avoid these showers if that's something that you're into as well. By Tuesday night, a couple of those stray showers will linger with those temperatures falling to the upper 50s. So overall, not bad temperature wise, but it is going to be quite gloomy for most of it. And we are tracking those showers mainly into the evening and night. So just be aware of that for any Valentine's Day plans. Afterwards, though, check out those highs into Wednesday. We're tracking widespread showers mainly into the afternoon and evening as well. So the first half of the day looks very, very dry. Then we'll see those temperatures making it to the mid 70s and showers rolling in late. Thursday will feature widespread showers and thunderstorms. Once again, some of those could be on the stronger side. We're keeping a close eye on that. By Friday, temperatures will fall to the 40s and the 50s are expected for the weekend. At least it's going to be nice and sunny for both Saturday and Sunday.